Welcome back to another Heatable Classic. Today, you're getting a front row seat to Heatable's first Powerwall 3 consumer install. Right, come on. To the sofa, yeah. Right, okay. Right, so we're here today to install uh, Heatable's first Tesla Powerwall 3. We're here with Eddie. We're going to be installing a handful of these over the next few weeks. So, really excited to get stuck into the first one. That's better, Eddie. That's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Now this was a big moment for Heatable and Tesla, and so they sent someone down to keep an eye on things and show off their lovely new dolly. I made a boot for you, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Hello, I'm going to the wholesalers. Right, so we've just got uh, the battery mounted, gateways mounted, um, now the customer has just got planning, planning permission to knock down a wall and extend part of the garage. So that does mean the whole electrical supply for their house is going to shift over about three foot. So our original plan of putting the battery right below the electrical supply out the window. So what we need to do now is we need to go and get some more cable, a bit of trunking, we're just going to tidy up the electrics that he's got currently got sort of dangling loose waiting for his electrician to move his fuse board. Mm. So I'm just going to nip out to the wholesalers now and grab those bits. So it's a slight delay in the day, but that's just part of it. You know, every job's a little bit different. You don't really know until you get cracking into these things, how it's gonna, how it's gonna all turn out. So on our way now, it's absolutely it down. So it's, um, I'm soaking wet. I didn't bring a coat like an idiot. So we'll see what we can get done now. She told me to top off her cheek. The one Best cleaner at Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to do, do a, a nice, easy install, to do it properly, test and commission. Yeah, you're talking, I'd have said, best part of the day, yeah. This is a nice location, you know what I mean? You're close proximity to your mains, which is always a benefit. And so the gateway has to go near the mains anyway, but if you can have the battery close to that as well, it's a nice, simple install. There's no getting cables from A to B, which is the majority of the time taken up on these installs. It's getting cables from A to B, so. Right, we just pulled back up now, so let's try and uh, get all this new kit back in and try and catch up with the town just lost. Let's get in. We are currently just Install well, just first fixing the gateway cables so the tails back and from um, the supply. So we get the supply from the um, main meter, and then we're going to go back to supply the house. And then we've just installed the the battery carcass, and we're just looking to link that into the gateway now. With Eddie now back with the trunking and cables, they got to work with mounting the containment. Meanwhile, two fellas had shown up asking a suspicious amount of questions about cables. <laughs> you alright? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Liam, you're Aaron. Yes. This is Aaron. So, what are you doing? Uh, we've been invited here today, so Doncaster Cables, that's where we've come from, come from over in Doncaster. Uh, we developed various innovative cables in the past few years. One of them was um, Powerwall Connect, which was for the previous version of the Tesla Powerwall unit. And we've been invited here today to look at the Generation 3 unit, and see what features we can bring with a new cable, which will make the install quicker, neater and easier, hopefully. So they've been about forever and a day. They're like one of the big boys on the market for cable manufacturing. Now we're into the Powerwall 3 era. They've not yet got a cable for it. They've got one plan, they've got samples, they've got one design ready to go. They're just trying to tweak that design to make it as efficient as possible for the new Powerwall 3. How's it going today? Uh, so far it's been good, it's been, uh, it's been good to see the unit, first time we've seen one, um, some differences from the previous version and so far we think we'll be successful in, in getting something that'll make it a bit easier for people. Should we go take a look? Yes, let's I mean, go and take a look. You've already had a look but I want to I get, get a look at this thing, <laughs> come on then. 
Wow. So here it is. It's happening. It's all going on. Um, like the Super Bowl of the battery world. That right there is the power wall. Can you see it? Mental. Wires all over the place. Very cool. So, as Spencer and Jez installed a bit of 100 mil trunk in. Installed in a bit of 100 mil trunk in. Jez hinted at a bit of magic in the air. Yeah, right, do me a favour. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'll show you a trick in a minute. Go get a bit of off cut of 20 mil tube or something. Yeah. Cut it 100 mil. 100 mil. 100 mil, bit of tube. Yeah. I'll show you a little trick, mate. Right, he's going to do a trick. Everyone out, he's going to do a trick. Spenny, is fine. Spen, Spenny. Spenny, yeah. Spenny, yeah. Cutting uh, this. 20 mil. 20 mil. Black conduit, yeah. Jez is going to show me a trick, apparently. It's a bit of a mystery. I don't really know uh, what he's going to do with it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we're going to see a trick soon. Where's the trick? Well, you've got the two. No, it's not a trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just old cable zip. <laughs> that. Did we see that? <laughs> I think we might need to get the slow motion on that because that was mental. <laughs> that was that. absolutely mental. <laughs> Yeah, just stop scared. So basically, when you're wiring, yep. just, yeah, just, just put it in, cut it to sand into the trunk, and it starts pulling out. Maybe you yeah. should tell me what you're going to do before <laughs> I have to make a big one. I, I would say it's a trick. <laughs> <you know. laughs> what did you think of uh, the trick? Um, Anticlimatic? Yeah. You didn't... It's good if no one's seen it before, though, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty neat. It didn't chill, yeah, change it, your world view or anything. <laughs> It'd probably be better if all the cables weren't cable tied already and held in place. <laughs> it is quite a neat job already, yeah. What is this? AC isolator. That one's going to go Just a way of disconnecting the AC supply. Been amazing, the battery. It's literally just a bit of plastic. Mate. There's a bit of metal bits in it. <laughs> yeah. High tech. Wow, that is... That oh, is mate, really I know. Oh, yeah. Nice and technical, mate. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much, good sir. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Yeah, so obviously anything that's new is exciting. Uh, a little bit anxious that I'm uh, being used as a bit of a guinea pig. Um, but yeah, no, it's cool. Uh, looking forward to seeing it, you know, finally work and seeing the house go off grid completely. Yeah, so I think the uh, one of the key things and, and one of the reasons why I went for the Tesla was it's kind of one app, so it'll all integrate into one app rather than using multiple apps. Um, you can monitor everything in one place, look at consumption, things like that. And I think technology, if you look at kind of renewable energy, battery storage in particular, I feel like Tesla, you know, have been there for a number of years in comparison to some of the, you know, smaller manufacturers in the UK, perhaps. So yeah, I think that was one of the main reasons why I went for the Tesla um, over another manufacturer. So we're here now. We're getting towards the end of the install. Been here for a few hours. I've had three coffees and I'm seeing through space and time. Bacon butties bloody delicious that was a real genuine human act of peer-to-peer -peer kindness how is the bacon sandwich? Yeah, it's, it's white bread it's bad for you but it tastes the best doesn't it exactly yeah. plates and plates of bacon buddies that is dedication to humanity dedication to love thy neighbor trust in the friend an eye for an eye bacon for bacon ashes to ashes dust to dust at, at the end of the day really With the AC isolator in place and the whole system grounded to the main earthing terminal, all that was left was some finishing touches on the wiring, wrapping ferrite cores around the main conductors to protect the components from any electromagnetic interference, and setting up the backup and non-backup sides of the gateway. Yes, so you've got backup and non-backup sides on this, so in event of uh, mains failing that goes off-grid, anything juicy bits of kit, so normally like EV chargers or air source heat pumps won't be part of the backup side to only output to everything that's on the, the crucial and non-crucial is the way I describe it. Right, so we're, we're all the wiring's in yeah. now. Um, we're just going to power on now and get some testing done and then just get the commissioning started. Bang! <laughs> 17, somehow lower than the one I recorded on. I'm going to start commissioning now, so I'm going to get out the Tesla app. We have a nice little app called Tesla One. So this is how we set the system up, we tell it to do what it needs to be doing. So let me just get this started. Yeah? You 
Anyway, so here, yeah, end of the day. Um, just about to put the lid on. So we've finished, we've got the gateway here installed. We've put a uh, non-backup supply ready for some uh, air source heat pumps in the future. And we've got our battery in our main supply here. We've installed a new Tesla Powerwall 3. We've got AC isolator and an earth state there. Nice and easy. Really good install. Really looking forward to fitting some more of these over the next few weeks. As easy as the Powerwall 2 to set up as well. Really good bit of kit. A lot more room than the Powerwall 2, because in the Powerwall 2 you only had a little section on the side, whereas there's a big section in the, in the top, so you've got plenty of room to put your cable in.